Hello everyone and welcome to a Specimen Saturday and today we are visiting my Goulian Finches because I'm going to show you guys something really cool and unexpected this late in the season. As soon as these guys calm down, hey, hey yellow, hey blue. So this one right over here is like Starburst. I, I named him something else, but Starburst just kind of stuck. He is Darling's favorite bird. I know he looks white because of the light, but actually he's yellow, in fact. Oh, what do you guys think now? Oh, yellow, look, we can see a little bit of your color now, huh? He's actually molting right now, so he looks a little bit sad for himself. But these guys are my Goulian finches, and they're fussing because they're not used to having the camera out, and so they, like, freak out, even though it's fine. Calm down, babies. Calm down. But, yeah, we have the last two fledged young of Ossiae and Persimmon in here. Oh, calm down. And this light is very important for them. It actually lets them get all the sunlight that they need. Let me see if I can locate the newbies. Ah, there's one newbie. The little female that's jumping around so much. If she'll hold still for a second, right? There. You can't really see her because she's up in the light glare. There she is. She has a splotchy orange russet head. That is a female hen with a splotchy orange russet head. And right up there you see that bright red redhead that bright red-headed lilac chested male is the other that's the her brother who came from Ossia and persimmon's last clutch of eggs they have already fledged into their full adult, adult colors and the male sings quite beautifully so i'm really happy about it and i'm really happy about them i just need to figure out a way to like be able to record them <laughs> without them freaking out without them like knowing that I'm watching them because they refuse I've even tried setting like my phone camera up in here and leaving it alone but it'll die before they'll calm down so I need something that'll be up here permanently so they can get used to it and just do their natural behavior and speaking of natural behavior even though it's March a couple of my love bugs Ossiae <laughs> would not stop laying eggs. Persimmon has laid more eggs than I'm normally comfortable with for a breeding season, but she would not stop yelling her head off. Like, it was ridiculous, all the fuss and the noise she was making. And I took away their nest because I was like, no, Persimmon, you've laid too many eggs, you need to watch your calcium stores. That's very important for birds. And you know what she and Ossiae did? They dragged their empty spray millet holes into their their little like uh, seed cups over here that have their their extra herb salad and have their zoo cream and everything and they laid eggs in there <laughs> so when I found two eggs in there I threw my hands up in the air and persimmon would not stop yelling it was kind of ridiculous and so I figured Ossia is like oh I hate that camera I won't be in here much longer my baby but I figured that was ridiculous and I might as well give them a nest and see what happens even though other than these two babies, and unfortunately the, the two that died from last clutch, I think from um, bacteria in their crop, and I now have special like water cleanser to prevent that from happening again, they didn't have a successful fledge this year. Last year they had about a dozen babies that all fledged to adulthood, and this year they only had two. And I think Persimmon just was stuck on the idea of having more babies. So now look where she is. Once again, hiding deep within those depths and sitting on eggs. And she's done that four times this year and only once for those eggs fertile and hatched. So I, I didn't expect anything from this one, but yeah, hang on guys. I know you don't like it when I do this, but it's over in a second. Hi, Persimmon. Hi, sweetie. I'm just going to borrow one for half a second, okay? I'll be very careful with it. But when I took the egg out yesterday to check on it and brought it over to this light to candle it, do you guys see that? Hang on, let me see if I can get... Oh, calm down, you crew down there. Sorry, it's really hard to do this. There we go. You guys see it? You can see the developing little teensy egg. This is a fertile egg. We have we have a developing baby in here. You can see the veins. You can see the dark splotches where everything's starting to come together. All the cells are starting to pull together. So this is like really amazing. This is something absolutely amazing. Normally, I don't take them out to candle them at this stage in the game. So 
this is very exciting and I'm gonna put the egg back now but guess what you guys you're getting a little brother or sister it's just gonna be like another week or two and I love how persimmon has not even shifted there we go I'm gonna put this right back where it belongs in fact I literally stuck it right back under her can you see her? oh look at that angry face she's like stop messing with my eggs so I'm gonna put the lid back on there we go and leave Ossia and Persimmon alone but we have fertile eggs in the Gouldian Finch nest again very very late in the season because normally they breed in spring and summer for Australia so spring in America is not <laughs> is like fall in Australia so I don't know what they're up to but they're laying more eggs and having more babies and this will hopefully definitely I will separate you two if I have to be the last clutch of the season because it can kill and exhaust a female bird to lay that many eggs every year I think she just really wanted more babies so she's gonna have more and you can see these two right here were from the last clutch and they're doing fine, they're healthy, they're beautiful. I have some weird splotch-headed Gouldians, which are not, I've not really seen those before. So we'll just have to see. And this redhead is not quite the awesome singer that the original Russet baby was. I had a male from the first clutch named Russet, and he was a great singer, even better than his daddy. No offense, no offense, Aussie Eye. But we're just going to have to see what these guys get up to. So no breeding. No breeding or any kind of mating behavior from this group over here. What's wrong with you two? These two are a pair of males that I got to pair with my females. And silver and yellow, they don't do anything. Starburst. Starburst. Silver loves singing, but he doesn't, he doesn't try to like mate with anybody. And he's a little splotchy right now because he's in molt too. So they're not, they're not looking their best. Birds molt about once a year where they lose all their feathers and grow in some new ones. You can see Blueberry back there is still getting all of her head feathers and chest feathers back in. But they have extra treats hidden in their treat bowls and extra vitamins added to their food and their water. So they're doing very good. So I'll give you guys another update for another specimen Saturday, hopefully in a week or two. And we'll have even more baby Gouldians, which will be amazing. I'm so excited about that. So thank you for joining me everybody. Really, if you want to learn more about Gouldian finches, I highly recommend it. They're an endangered species from Australia, and their numbers are really dwindling due to all the current bushfires destroying the, the plants that they rely on to live. So hopefully getting some of the, the native grasslands replanted in Australia will really help bring back these glorious, beautiful, itty-bitty little finches, because they are stunning little gems. I really think they're amazing, and they're so inquisitive, and they've got the most hilarious personalities. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will see you guys next time. Stay curious!